guys and welcome to today's video in which I'm going to be talking with you about my September favourites. I'm not going to introduce this video much, I'm just going to dive straight in because I've got a lot of things I want to talk about that are really exciting. But a little disclaimer, they are all things that I personally just like and have liked this month. And my first favourite for the month of September and probably for the next few months, years, is our new kitten Moby. And I'm going to have to introduce him first because he is not going to stay still. He's having a little bit of a mad half hour, as you can see. But yeah, I'm going to put him down and let him carry on playing now. Go on, babe. So anyway, he is definitely top of my list for September favourites. We got him at the start of September and literally I love him. He has settled in really well. He's an absolute nutter though and... I kind of forgot what it was like to have a kitten, but I will leave a link below to a little video of his kind of like what he's been up to in the first few weeks of having him. And you can go and watch that if you're interested and don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting more videos of maybe updates. Okay, so moving on to skincare, I've got two things I want to talk about this month. And the first one being actually a lip scrub and it is the Lip Service Apricot Lip Scrub from Wilkinson's of all place. I picked this up on a whim, I'd never tried a lip scrub before. Oh, there's he is. <laughs> Sorry, I apologise for this video being a little bit chaotic, but he is scratching the furniture, he's running around, so he's probably going to be in shock quite a lot. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, this lip scrub is actually really nice. I've never used lip scrub before, and it's something that I've always probably thought I should use because I suffer really bad with dry lips, especially when it gets to this time of year, and they, they crust up and everyone probably has this problem, but... Apparently lip scrubs are really good for relieving all your dry skin, but I'd never tried them. So I thought I'd pick this one up, it was only a pound, and you know what, I've loved it and I've used it every other day in the shower and I must say it's made the conditioning of my lips so much nicer than usual. So yeah, I would really recommend that. Also it tastes great too, so if you accidentally kind of eat some, then it's not a problem because <laughs> it just tastes like apricot sugar. Hi maybe. Okay, and second, and maybe he has helped with this one again, we have the Garnier Wake Me Up Miracle Cream. Now this, I actually put in a favourites this month because, not necessarily for what kind of it says it does, it's more so because it actually really, really reminds me and is the very, very similar in consistency. And as you can see, I've rinsed this this month. It's the same consistency and um, almost like the same kind of outcome that Benefit Professional Primer gives you and I have been using this as a primer rather than like just a moisturiser so I've been putting it on under my makeup and I've noticed that it does have that kind of smoothing effect that Benefit um, Professional does so I would really recommend maybe try this because it's a fraction of the price but to me it seems to do the best job and the same job so yeah the only thing like negative I can say about this is it smells a little bit strange and I know that sounds a strange thing to say but it does smell just, I don't know, it just doesn't smell that great as a, as a skin cream going on your face. But nevertheless, it is really good and I'm really liking it at the moment and I'm going to continue to use it and probably repurchase it. So yeah, definitely recommend that. And moving on to some makeup favourites I've loved this month. And first being something I actually received in September's Birch Box. Um, I will leave a link for that to below so you can see it if you're interested. But it's basically the cream cream blush now I'd never ever used a cream blush and I've got the color just peachy the reason why I was kind of excited about receiving this and I knew I was receiving this because I was emailed about it is because I've never tried a cream blush before I've only ever used powder brushes and I've always wanted to try one and I really like it and I've reached for it quite a lot this month rather than just a powdered blush I think with the weather becoming a little bit cooler it seems to be more nourishing on the cheeks and it really holds up so the longevity of this product is really good actually <laughs> You cause an havoc. So yeah, I really like this. The pigmentation of this is actually really, really strong. So you have to be really, really careful with how much you actually put on your face. As you can see, look how pigmented that, that is. So unless you want to look like a clown, you have to go a little bit of light on it. I will definitely be purchasing maybe some other cream blushes because I feel like I get on with them really well. So yeah, recommend it. And the next makeup item I find myself reaching for practically every day this month is the W7 In The Buff Makeup Eye Palette. This, to me, is the perfect dupe for the Urban Decay Naked Palette. It is a fraction of the price, and I'm not joking, it, you may or may not have heard of this, but it is so good. The colours are just gorgeous in it. It's a really mix of nice matte, nude, and shimmery kind of colours, and it's a really good palette 
as in pigmentation as well like the colors are just absolutely stunning and i found myself reaching for some more over the others but generally speaking you can't go wrong with it it is just brilliant it is such a good start up makeup palette for so anyone who kind of wants to experiment with eyeshadow but doesn't want to fork out for like a really high-end um eyeshadow palette you might as well just go cheap but this one's cheap and good so i highly highly recommend it okay so i've got three hair things to talk about this month and one of them being this hairstyle that i'm wearing right now this is such a nice easy so practical hairstyle but it's so beautiful at the same time and it's the twist braids it's dead simple to do i will probably be doing a video on how to do this i actually watched a youtube video myself on this i will link her video down below she is amazing but yeah um it's just a really really simple really nice hairstyle and one other thing we're talking about styling your hair that i have absolutely loved this month is the lee stafford coco Lo that is so hard to say <laughs> coco loco blow and glow genius lotion and basically you just add a pea sized amount of this into your like damp hair and just before you blow dry it and the thing i've loved about this more so any than anything is the smell it smells so nice it's coconut scented and oh it's just gorgeous it reminds me of holidays i would recommend it it's left my hair feeling really soft one thing i have to say about this though is Okay, so while I was recording, guys, I just heard loads of commotion and maybe she just fell in the toilet. <laughs> I know I'm touching him, but <laughs> he's all dry now. He won't do that again. <laughs> oh, bless him! He fell in the toilet. One thing I will say about this, though, is you do kind of have to use a little bit of product if you put too much on, which I did one day. I didn't quite expect it, but it left my hair really like tacky. And it felt like I had too much product in my hair. So just go sparingly. But it is a really nice, nice product. And the next hair product I've been reaching for pretty much every day is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Now this is actually a new one. I don't know when this came out. I've never seen it before. But it's the natural and light bare one. And the reason I love this is because it's so light. And it doesn't leave as much kind of like ray, grey, ray. And it doesn't leave as much grey residue in your hair, which is really nice. But yeah, I really like this and it's always handy to have dry shampoo. And the last thing I've been loving this month, which I've saved because it is about ready for the bin, is the Bayless and Hard Lint Candle. And it's the scent Caribbean Sands, which is pink sands and coconut leaves. And the reason not so much for the scent, because the scent's been actually lovely as well, this candle has burned so well. As you can see, it is burned perfectly and what more can you want out of a candle than not waste it? But I've loved it and I will definitely be repurchasing this makeup candle again. So yeah guys, that's my September favourites for you. I've loved everything this month and I've really enjoyed trying some products I'd never tried before. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and thank you. Bye!